that sound, that iconic image. But have we been wrong about it this whole time? Welcome back to Animality in Nature. The image of a wolf howling at the moon is one of the most enduring in all of nature. It's on t-shirts, in movies, and in our collective imagination. But today, we're separating fact from fiction. Let's dive into the real reasons behind the howl. First, let's bust the biggest myth. Wolves don't howl at the moon. They howl to communicate, and they just happen to be more active on bright nights. A full moon provides light, making it easier to hunt and travel. So, we see them more often, leading to the false connection. The howl itself is a sophisticated social media network for the pack. So what are they saying? A lot! A howl can be a location pin, I'm over here! It can reassemble the pack after a hunt, it can be a territorial broadcast to rival packs, essentially saying, this land is taken, stay out! Each wolf's howl is unique so pack members can identify exactly who is calling. This is why you always see them on ridges. Howling from an elevated position isn't for drama, it's pure physics. Sound carries farther and clearer from a high point, allowing their messages to travel for miles through the wilderness. It's the original long-distance call. A group howl isn't just noise, it's a bonding experience. It reinforces social bonds and solidifies the pack's unity. It's like a family sing-along that also doubles as a security system. This chorus creates the illusion of a larger, stronger pack, which is a powerful deterrent to any outsider's thinking of causing trouble. So while the moon isn't the cause, it does play a role. It's nature's ultimate stage light. It illuminates the actor in this ancient drama, making the behavior more visible to us. The truth is no less magical. It's a complex, beautiful form of communication we're still learning to understand. So the next time you see that classic image, you'll know the real story. It's not a lunar obsession. It's about family, territory, and connection. If you learned something new today, do us a howl of support. Give this video a like, it really helps us out. Subscribe to Animality and Nature and hit the bell so you don't miss our next adventure into the wild. Now we want to hear from you. What other animal myths should we debunk? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay wild.